Let's take a look at this story from the, was it the um, China Morning Post or something? I don't know. I can't remember where it was. Anyway, um, it's about a new kind of drone out of China. Now, don't believe everything you read because I, as long-time viewers of this channel will know, I've done a lot with pulse jet engines and pulse looked at pulse detonation engines. I have been keeping up with the research and the development of this technology. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, someone's, you know, someone's having a joke because it says here, explosive engine test with drone could propel China to supersonic age. Now, the big thing about this drone is it's rotating detonation engine. This is rotating detonation engine, otherwise known as an RDE. The concept here is that there's no moving parts. It's like a pulse jet, but instead of the thing sort of pulsing off and on, it creates a, a spinning wave of combustion in a tube in the exhaust. So it's, it creates its own compression, produces higher combustion efficiencies. And yeah, there's a lot of things that make it really, really good. But the problem is it's just not simple. It's really not a simple thing to do. But these people are claiming that they've got this, this drone here with this RDE in it, a rotating detonation engine in it. And I look at this, Hang on, what's that at the back? Oh, let me see if I can blow this up a bit. I just noticed this. Hang on a minute. Um, can I do this on live on stream? Can I blow this? I can. <laughs> oh, no, look at this. Look, look, there's a turbine. There's a turbine engine on the back of this thing. Really, seriously, this is a conventional RC model turbine engine on the back of it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what a fraud! What a fraud! Because it says it's got this RDE and it, uh, technology can have applications for commercial rockets, high speed drones, as well as military <laughs> aircraft and guided. This is a fraud of the highest order. Um, let's see what it says. An image circulating online China shows the drone before its maiden flight powered by an engine that uses controlled explosions to generate shockwaves for complete combustion of fuel and air. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. It says China's first drone to be powered by an engine that uses explosions to propel aircraft to unparalleled speeds has made a successful maiden flight at an undisclosed airfield in Gansu province. The FB-1 rotating detonation engine was developed jointly by the Chongqing University Industrial Technology Research Institute and thrust to weight ratio engine, TWR, a Shenzhen based private company. Images circulating online show that the engine ignited and, and uh, the engine ignited and tested during the taxing phase of the drone, which is about five meters long. It's unclear whether the engine continued to operate during the flight. So, all I've done is taxi with this. Of course they have, because look at the small size of that engine compared to the, and it's just a turbine, a tiny turbine on this great big airframe. It will not fly with that tiny jet engine on there. <laughs> anyway, it says. Um, According to a Chongqing morning news report on Wednesday, the engine ignition experiment was also the drone's first flight. Well, I don't think it flew. The craft was developed by the university in participation by TWR. It said a range of ground tests were previously carried out on the RDE engine. That's that's um, rotating detonation engine engine. <laughs> they didn't need to use engine. Before it was mounted to the drone for its maiden flight, the report said. It uses kerosene fuel and features rapid ignition and could power an aircraft from zero speed to several times the speed of set. This is all bullshit. This is absolute rubbish. Um, traditional turbojet engines use fan to draw in air, creating significant drag at speeds above Mach 3. The ramjet engine can take aircraft beyond this limit by using its shape to compress incoming air, but fails to offer better combustion efficiency. Um, yeah, the explosions... Are, the explosion is much more efficient than turbojet and ramjet engines, giving RDEs a potential to revolutionize supersonic flight. I'm going to show you what an RDE looks like. Now, remember, let's go back up here and have a look at this. Look at this, this large radio controlled taxiing plane. Oh, no. Anyway, I'll show you what an RDE really looks like. Here's some footage of an RDE. Now, this is, um, this is NASA. NASA know a bit about this stuff. It's not some enterprise in China. This is NASA. Look at this engine. Let's go uh, full screen on this so you can see it. Look at that. Look at the size of it. Look at all the ancillary equipment here. It needs so much ancillary stuff. And that's the problem. A lot of these proposed fantastic breakthrough engines, yeah, that they work in theory, but to make them work requires so much ancillary gear that they're just totally impractical. You, know, you, you might get X amount of thrust from this engine, but you need 10 times X in 
ancillary gear, the weight of all the ancillary gear. And also these engines are not particularly reliable. Now, pulse jet engines, they sometimes just stop. They just stop, seemingly for no reason. It could be they've ingested a bit of their own exhaust. It could be that there's a, a change in air pressure, density, whatever, a minute fluctuation in fuel. All those things can cause any kind of pulsing detonation engine to stop very quickly. We'll watch this one run through um, and you, you'll see what I mean. Here we go. I'll just mute the sound so we don't get blown off. Now, here we go. It's running quite happily. See that? Beautiful. There's a nice jetty flux. But look how much cooling is required. They, and there we go. Oh, it flamed out. It flamed out. Here we go. So that ran for a total of about 10 seconds before it flamed out. Um, so let's, I'll go back now. Hang on a minute. Let's go back to this. Because there's another one here I would like you to see. Here's another one. This is a this is a Chinese one. This one. This is from China. This this uh, particular one. So let's make that go full screen, and we'll look at that one as well. Here we go, full screen. And again, look at all the running water. They have to keep it cool. I'll just mute it again. Here we go. Lots of running water to keep the damn thing cool. And you'll notice the lip of this thing heats up. So it's in jet mode at the moment. Apparently, it can do rocket as well. It goes into rocket mode. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. Um, look at the sparks flying out. That means metal is being eroded. <laughs> it's so hot, it's melting itself. And then go back to jet mode. And there we go. But look, there's steam and there's all this water. How are you going to put that on an aircraft when you need so much water to keep the damn thing cool? It makes no sense. So I <laughs> just. I wasn't even aware. I hadn't actually looked closely enough at this picture to recognise that this little turbine jet engine was on there. I was just going to say this is probably improbable. And now this, there's the proof. It is so improbable. I'll just make that a bit bigger because it's just, just so you can see what I'm talking about here. This is, look at it. Look at it. It's just a regular turbine. This is rubbish. I don't know. Never believe what you read in the mainstream media, folks. Because <laughs> I think this was China Morning. Um, let me see. I'll probably go back here because I it was a, a paywalled item. So let's just go back. It was saved from, yeah, um, South China Morning Post. Go back again. The original article, somewhere here. Here we go. South China Morning Post had this story, but it was paywalled, so I had to go to a special service that, oh no, it was, no. Here we go. It wants you to log in if you want to see more spend money. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, so South China Morning Post, absolute bullshit. Don't believe what you read. We've debunked. It's busted. This thing is totally busted. Because if you're going to build a drone to test an engine out, you wouldn't make it look like a full size. That's why waste all that effort making giving it a canopy. It doesn't need a canopy. It's, it doesn't have people in it. You would make it as aerodynamically simple as possible. So yeah, just copying a Sukhoi. <laughs> Anyway, I thought you might find this interesting. I found it amusing and even more amusing because live on air, well, live while I was making the video, we spotted the turbine. Oh. Yep, China's RDE busted. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Got some more videos coming up shortly. There's no flying yet. There will be. Stay tuned. Bye for now.